Hello, welcome back to the tutorial series with Physio Designer. In this tutorial, we will create a simple central pattern generator model using a BVP model, which we created in the previous tutorial. The model is composed by a couple two BVP models. A central pattern generator, called CPG, is a functional neural network, which creates basic periodic muscle activity patterns for locomotion. For example, flexor and extensor muscles at a limb are activated periodically in an antiphasic manner, during walking. This kind of oscillatory activity is considered to be generated at a neural circuit at the spinal cord, reflecting the anatomy of the spinal cord, usually two groups of neurons, called half-centers, coupled to each other bilaterally symmetrically are considered as a model of a CPG circuit. Each half-center includes excitatory and inhibitory neurons. It receives a spinal cord descending signal from brain, which controls the activity of the CPG. In this tutorial, the half-center is modeled by a single BVP model. Hence the CPG model is represented by couple two BVP models. In a BVP model, variables X and Y are considered as the membrane potential and refractoriness, respectively. The coupling pathway is a projection from X at one side to Y at the contralateral side. Mathematically, the coupling term is added in the right-hand side of the equation of Y. This projection acts as an inhibition of the other side half-center. Because Y activated by the projection from the contralateral half-center inhibits the ipsilateral X. On the physio designer, the diagram of modules looks like the figure shown in the slide. From now, Let's create the model on Physio Designer. At first, let's download a single BVP model from PH database at Physiome JP. Click the icon with a mark of globe at the toolbar, then a dialog pops up. You can search the model by its name. Enter BVP in the text box, and click a search button. Then two entries hit. Select the model with DBID 475 and click download button to download it. It asks you if you want to open it on a new canvas, or add it to the currently opened model. Here select open. Double clicking on the BVP module, you can look the inside. In it there are two modules named X and Y. X represents the membrane potential, and Y refractoriness. Let's observe the dynamics of this model. Select Flint in the simulation menu at the top bar to call Flint. In the Flint window, the model is already loaded. Click Run button at left bottom corner to launch a simulation. Click OK button, and go to Detail, and View. Drag and drop the variable name card from the leftmost list to the box it labeled Y1. Now let's check X, Y, and Stimulus. To remove the curve, Drag back the variable name from the Y1 box to the leftmost box. OK. Using this model, we will create a couple BVP model. To do this, we will duplicate the model by copy and paste. But before that, we need to prepare to create the projection between two BVP models. At first, let's create an import on the module Y to receive the projection from the module X at contralateral side. Select Edit Ports from the context menu popping up by the right click, double clicking at the name column at the upper table, which is for the imports, enter the name of the new port. Now you don't have a physical quantity to assign to the new port, we need to create it. Click Apply button, then select the port again, and click New Physical Quantity button. A dialog appears to create a new physical quantity. By default, the name same with the new port is given. Type must be variable parameter here. The new physical quantity is automatically selected and assigned to the port. That's all here. Click OK button to close the port dialog. Next, we will edit the definition of the physical quantity Y in the module Y. Select Edit Physical Quantity menu at the context menu. In the dialog, selecting the physical quantity Y and go to Implementation tab. At the end of the right-hand side of the equation, add a term 0.05 times x count. That's all. Click OK button and close the dialog. OK. Now let's duplicate the BVP module. 
Copy the capsule module labeled by BVP. Then add a white canvas, click right button and paste. A capsule module appears. This module is the completely the same with the original one. Of course, it contains the sub-modules. And the physical quantity Y of the module Y has the term to receive the projection. Let's create the projection between two BVPs. The value of X of the module X at one BVP goes to the X cont at the module Y at the other BVP. Drag a mouse cursor from the outport X to the import X cont. Then ports on the capsule modules are automatically created. Remind that, it is impossible to link directly from a module inside of a capsule module to other module in the other capsule module. The link must go through ports on those capsule modules to secure the isolation of encapsulated modules. Link the edge opposite way as well. Just as a convenient tip, when edges overlap, they can be solved by a just edge overlap in the context menu. That appears by right click on the edge. Finally, we'll create the external signal module by copy and paste the module named by external signal, which was involved in the original BVP model, and link an edge from the outport of the copied external signal module to the import of the BVP capsule module. Before finishing the model editing, let's change the model name. From Edit Model Preferences menu, you can change it. Congratulations! The CPG model is completed. Then save the model with a new file name. Now, let's run several simulations to test the dynamics of this model. Firstly, we will adjust the intensity of the external inputs to the CPG. Move to Parameters tab at the main window of Flint, and set the value 1.2 for the physical quantity named step. Notice that there are two of them. Set the value for both of them, and click Run button. The simulation finishes quickly. Move to Detail and View as usual to observe the time course. Move the physical quantity X to the Y1 box. Now there are four X's, because each BVP includes two X's, and there are two BVPs in the model. Here, let's select the first and fourth X's to observe. To avoid this kind of confusion, it might be better to change the physical quantity name in the second BVP model, or to use templates and instances. We will show how to use templates and instances in the other tutorial. The model shows anti-phase oscillation. It means that two half centers in the CPG are activated alternately, like normal biped walking, or flexor and extensor muscles around a joint. Next. Let's try the other initial value for one physical quantity x. Let's use 0.5, instead of 1.3. Then execute the simulation. Again, let's observe two x's. In this case, as you see, the oscillation converged into the in-phase oscillation. We have changed only the initial value. This shows that the systems with the parameter values used in the current configuration is bi-stable. Then let's see what happens if we change the intensity of the external inputs. Let's use 0.77 for the physical quantity step. Again, there are two of them. In this case, the waveform altered a little bit. Notice the two cycles of the oscillation form one period. There might happen a period doubling bifurcation by changing the intensity of the external inputs. As a last test, Let's put back the previous intensity only to one of external inputs, that is 1.2. In this case, the oscillation started almost with the antiphasic oscillation, but turned into oscillation which is close to the in-phase oscillation but actually asymmetric. It would be interesting to examine the bifurcation structure of the model. There are some literatures working on this topics. This tutorial finishes here. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye till next time.